One of the things that comes up very commonly in my practice in women in whom we recommend tamoxifen is their fear and appropriately of the toxicity. And the two toxicities that they are obviously most worried about are deep vein thrombosis of the legs and potential uterine cancer. Dr. Pito, who's an epidemiologist in England, has done a number of studies on this and has quantified that risk of deep vein thrombosis and uterine cancer in tamoxifen users for five years at about three per thousand. So those side effects are, number one, incredibly rare, and in general would be very rare, even if they did occur, to be life-threatening. If we have a patient who develops deep vein thrombosis while on tamoxifen, the deep vein thrombosis is treated as it would be in anybody, and we obviously discontinue the tamoxifen. Likewise, if a postmenopausal patient develops uter abnormal uterine bleeding and has an endometrial biopsy or a DNC that shows uterine tumors, hysterectomy is almost always curative of that uterine cancer. Therefore, it's extremely rare that somebody would die from the potential toxicities of, of tamoxifen. Tamoxifen has been undoubtedly the most important drug in preventing death from breast cancer in the world, and its benefit far, far outweighs this low risk. In addition, the risk of deep vein thrombosis and uterine cancers is almost exclusively in women over 65, and therefore premenopausal women have an even lower risk than three per thousand, and our worry in that population obviously is very low. Hi, I'm Dr. Jay Harness, and I want to share with you important information that I believe that every newly diagnosed patient with breast cancer needs to know. I'm a breast cancer survivor. I am a breast cancer survivor. I am a breast cancer survivor. And I want every woman to know about personalized breast cancer treatment and the genomic test. A test that helps guide a woman and her doctor to the best treatment options for her. Pass it on.